checks out. And here we thought, well, if SIRT6 is important uh, for, you know, like silencing transposons, uh, packaging things into repressive heterochromatin, let's see if it rejuvenates methylation age. Uh, so this was done in collaboration with Steve Horvitz. Um, we took cells from older subjects uh, and then we express SIRT6 in these cells for two weeks and then measure methylation age uh, in control cells and in cells that were expressing SIRT6. And you can see that in nine out of 10 um, cell lines that were each one derived from a different person, uh, methylation age went down after just two weeks of SIRT6 overexpression. And when we did RNA sequencing on these cells and looked at what the transcription patterns have changed, you can see changes related to chromatin DNA conformation change, chromatin accessibility, DNA packaging. So all those things we discussed were relevant to what CERT6 may be doing. And then we thought, okay, well, this was, we overexpressed CERT6, the transgene. Uh, can we stimulate it chemically? And of course, because CERT6 was known to extend lifespan in mice for some time, uh, people were looking for CERT6 activators, but most efforts were focused on CERT6 deacetylation activity that I mentioned a little bit earlier. But from the analysis of centenarian CERT6, we found that this activity actually may not be important for longevity, but the other one, ribosylation, was enhanced. Uh, so what we did here, because we wanted to find activators of uh, ribosylation activity. Uh, so we took from the literature uh, several chemical activators of CERT6 that were reported to activate deacetylation activity. And we assayed them uh, whether they will also activate ribosylation activity. And most of them did absolutely nothing, like this MDL 800 didn't change a thing. Uh, but there was one molecule that was a very strong activator of both. And this is an interesting molecule. It's called Fucoidin. Uh, it was first discovered by Ruin Moadel. Uh, it comes from seaweed. So it's a, it's a polysaccharide that's abundant in seaweed. So this is the brown seaweed. Uh, and um, a fucoidin, it's a polysaccharide composed of these fucose sugar monomers. Uh, but there is also some heterogeneity because it's a natural product. Uh, so it can be sulfated. Uh, it could also have branch length. So different species of brown algae produced somewhat different fucoidins. Uh, and we screened uh, many different <laughs> fucoidins from different seaweeds. And we found that about um, one third of what we screened activated silt things. The rest didn't do anything. Uh, and then we decided, okay, let's see if it has some effect in vivo. Uh, so we gave uh, Fucoidin, that is a CERT6 activator, uh, we gave it to aged mice. So we obtained mice that already at 14 months of age, so they're already starting to get frail at this age. And we fed them Fucoidin for several months. So this experiment is ongoing. Uh, and we measured frailty score, which is very similar to the frailty score that, you know, used for people. So there is walking speed, grip strength, so all this combined in a single score. Uh, and you can see that mice on Fukuidin had significantly lower frailty scores. And here we are going, you know, like two months, three months, four months. So mice are getting older, the frailty scores are increasing, but those are, that are taking seaweed supplement are still, uh, looking much better than the control mice. So these are some pictures of the mice on Fukuidin and control. So they, they start to look old, but the Fukuidin mice are really looking better. And, um, you know, there is still a lot of work to be done uh, to understand exactly how this um, Fukuidin activates CERT6 to maybe find better small molecule activators. Uh, but uh, to summarize my today's talk, what I can say that um, there is this process of epigenetic drift with the age our epigenome unravels and opens up. Uh, and there are different strategies, and this process is probably the underlying cause of aging uh, that causes you know, many other things to go wrong. 
Um, so how do we reverse it? So there are different approaches that include putting epigenome back together, very drastic approaches, epigenetic rejuvenation with Yamanaka factors, but we can also use uh, safer approaches, for example, stimulating CERT6 and not changing cell identity, but just uh, packaging uh, epigenome, you know, especially those repetitive elements back into heterochromatin. And right now we are also gearing up for a small pilot clinical trial. So we uh, will be giving Fucoidin uh, that activates CERT6 uh, to cancer patients when they're recovering from chemo, because this is the time when people really need to put their epigenome back together after being exposed to radiation or chemotherapy. Uh, so during this time, we will give people Fucoidin supplement, um, and then we will measure um, different, you know, uh, health, um, uh, perform different health assessments, uh, frailty scores, like we did for the mice, blood chemistry, and of course, epigenetic methylation clock and see whether um, Fucoidin also helps people. 